bonus news, everybody. Guys, today we have a little bit of bonus news. Nothing too, too crazy, but a little bit of stuff that I would like to report on on this lovely Monday morning. Guys, yesterday I wasn't able to stream on Twitch, so today instead I will be streaming from 12 p.m. to hopefully 5 p.m. I'm gonna try to stream for as long as I can, so make sure you guys come out to that. I was talking about the Twitch stream in yesterday's video, but I wasn't able to stream, but today I will be making up for that, so I hope to see you guys out there. But yes, it is Monday morning, and it is time for just a tiny little bit of news that I figured some of you guys might find interesting, and I'll give my own opinions on. So right here we have on the Reddit, we have an announcement which says the uh, the client update for the 18th of February, uh, which says we have released a client update that contains a few stability slash bug fixes. No downtime, but you will need to download the update. The resolved issues is the quick bars not respecting gadget slot assignments, which says console and PC. So it says that gadget slot assignments, but I'm pretty sure they mean other stuff as well. We go down here and they said that it's the HUD panel in the lower right corner that lists the currently equipped weapons and gadgets and uh whenever i was talking to some people in the discord server they were also telling me that this ended up fixing uh the bug whenever it comes to your your abilities being all switched around so up here it does say gadget slot assignment but to the according to the people on my discord they were saying that uh their abilities are put back to normal which is really nice uh so that's just a little bit of news you guys might have to update your Fortnite this morning before you go to school or work uh it did actually take me quite a little bit to download it on pc uh but that's not all we actually have a few leaks as well so we have a leak coming in from fire monkey which i've talked about on twitter and this is actually the new medieval spear that we may be seeing come to the game it says they saved the world weapon leak name medieval spear so i don't know why they're deciding to give us a spear possibly in the next update just out of the out of nowhere it really wasn't in the roadmap at all um it doesn't have a name or anything like that and spears or melees in general are just kind of garbage so I don't know why he's pointing out that um, <clears throat> we'll be getting a spear, but you know, apparently we're going to be getting a spear. Uh, nothing too, too interesting. That's why I wanted to bundle it in with a, uh, you know, this whole news video. And then we have one more uh, leak coming in from Fire Monkey, and that is that this right here is the Save the World leak Frost Knight Week 8 banner. So for those of you guys that are curious on what the next banner is going to be, it looks like a castle slash a little bit of a chess piece, and uh, I find that pretty cool. So a quick recap, we got our abilities and our gadget slot kind of stuff changed and fixed on console and pc we're going to be getting some kind of medieval spear sometime in the future and i pray that it functions like the spectral blade and is in some way shape or form unique and then we get a new peak at the banner which will be coming next week and it should be the last week for frost night but guys that's it for me thank you guys so much for watching nothing too too crazy in today's bonus news video but i figured i would make it nonetheless and inform you guys on what's going on like i said twitch stream later today make sure you come out to that i will make sure that i don't miss it because like I said yesterday we couldn't stream uh, but yeah guys thank you guys so much for watching I greatly appreciate it and I will see you guys next time